What's up folks, it's Matt from Three Pound Fishing and today we're gonna do something special. We have a lot of people out there now that have live scope and it is, it is exciting technology, there's no doubt about it. So, but one of the things that a lot of people wanna do is they wanna video and they wanna show the actual strikes of the fish, you know, onto the bait or just want to show structure or want to show people what they're seeing on live scope. They want to show that. So one of the ways that most people have been doing that is basically taking a camera and trying to position it straight over the garment. There's a lot of reasons why that's bad. One is you have to look around your camera to see the live scope. Number two is it usually shows a glare on the screen. And then number three is you just don't get good video quality by doing that. But if you have known about an app that has been available by Garmin for a long time, it's called Active Captain. Today we're gonna to be reviewing that Active Captain and showing you how to program it. Three pound fishing. If your passion is crappie fishing, you found your home. Sponsored by these great companies. That's right, folks. We're in the new boat on this episode and the power poles are down. We're going to be talking about Active Captain for the Garmin. So you live scope people, the people that want to show what they're seeing on their live scope, this video is for you. So one of the most popular ways people are doing live scope videos is that they're using maybe, I call them this, just a clamp, a, a GoPro clamp. And they're clamping it on something like this and then they're maneuvering it around so that it, it shows the video. So this is kind of what people have been, been using. And that's no good. You're just not gonna get good video quality that way. So they have this program called Active Captain. I'm hoping this is gonna show up. Got a blue right there, you can see that number one. The first thing that you need to do is download the Active Captain app. The second thing is you need to identify your Wi-Fi on your unit and turn it on. These units are Wi-Fi capable. Turn on your phone, go to your settings, and turn the Wi-Fi option on and see if it links up to your Garmin. So now you want your phone hooked up to the Wi-Fi on your Garmin. So when you Turn on your Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi is connected. You can actually go what's called Helm on the Active Captain. Doesn't sound, it sounds complicated, but it's not. Um, push it and you're gonna see anything that's going on on your live scope unit. And then it's simple as hit record. Folks, it's now getting a perfect video of your live scope on your phone. And from there, you can email yourself those videos, you can upload them to Dropbox, any type of programs that you have, but those videos are now just, and they, they film as long as your camera's on, it's gonna be filming what's going on in live scope. So that's pretty exciting stuff. It makes it definitely for a better picture for any type of YouTube video or any type of sharing that you want to do. Way better than the glare and everything else that happens when you want to have an external camera put onto that live scope. So definitely an advantage. I have not seen many people talk about uh, Active Captain, but it is definitely an advantage to know about. So have your cell phone, Wi-Fi, connect them together and simply put, get the best footage you can from that Active Captain and from your live scope unit. So this is exactly what the picture looks like, folks. It's perfect. It fills up the screen. There's no jittery. The picture's as good as it's gonna get. And I tell you, I love it. For a YouTube creator, for any type of sharing of these videos, it just doesn't get any better than this. A lot of people are gonna ask about, you know, live scope and is it worth it, that type of thing. You know, it's not a, it's not a cheap endeavor. And can you catch fish without it? Absolutely, you don't need live scope. Um, but it is really cool and really neat if you're into the tech type of stuff to see what fish are doing and how they are reacting to your baits. And you'd be amazed by how many times you see fish, you know, jump for a particular bait, whether it be a minnow or a plastic, and then they decide not to eat it. Then you have to start deciding what made them back off. Too big of a hook, different color, different, you know, jig size, all that type of stuff. And you don't get that information otherwise. 
you also start to realize whether or not fish are biting or not, whether it's just time to move or not. Um, but with that said, it's an expensive endeavor. So uh, I'm not shy to say that the life scope on my unit was $1,500 for the transducer and then another $1,500 for the 1042, I believe is that unit number. Uh, the advantage of that unit number is that it's already set up for side imaging or anything like I want. If someone were to get the uh, 1022 version, uh, that system is not part of that. You have to buy that separate. So I just opted to go with the 1042. I think a 10 inch screen is actually the size that everybody should have. Everybody gets turned on by the $500, $600 price tag of the nine inch screen. And in reality, it's like it's just like a Helix, a Hummingbird or anything else. You want the biggest screen possible. And uh, I think 10 inches, the minimum on which I would you know, consider. That's good fish, folks. Love it. Bam! So Active Captain, check it out. It's well worth it. If you've got live scope or any Garmin unit, you want Active Captain.